Hello and welcome to today's more report on Wednesday the 13th of July with me with Japan Market Analyst at Hand Tech Markets. The uh, trading session has got off to a slightly negative uh, risk off start really. Um, it's sort of been driven by uh, comments I think overnight from um, from Japanese government officials. Um gentleman called Suga, I think I'm pronouncing that right, um, has basically said that or basically ruled out the fact that uh, the uh, Japanese government is uh, looking towards uh, in enacting helicopter money, and that sort of, I mean, that sort of has dampened expectations of uh, basically the kitchen sink being thrown at the situation by the BOJ, and um, the uh, yen has started to strengthen again and uh, started to pull lower, having had almost 500 ticks of, of rebound uh, in the last couple of days. The uh, yen has started to strengthen. I'll talk through that in the um, in my chart analysis in a bit but um, generally speaking we're seeing sort of treasury yields falling away let me just show you treasury yields two year just dropping back a little bit ten year dropping back a touch risk appetite generally off uh, really you're seeing the oil price falling away again just just touch lower having had that strong rebound on the risk and um, recovery yesterday the dollar slightly um, sort of uh, holding up again and uh, generally across the forex majors, we're seeing uh, more of a risk-off appetite as we speak. Um, sort of euro slightly lower. You've got the uh, the kiwi and the Aussie lower as well. The yen is stronger. Um, sterling has had been positive early on. It's now sort of coming back towards flat again. So um, that's interesting. Um, and that's uh, on the day that um, Theresa May is due to be uh, formally announced as the prime minister the new Prime Minister of the UK. Um, and it's interesting that we're seeing this slight turnaround because um, equity markets were strong on, on Wall Street. Again, further gains into all-time highs on the S&P 500 overnight. That's sort of not really done anything really to help drive European markets today. Uh, f just falling back again. Uh, FTSE is again an underperformer, um, seemingly on the uh, the fact that the uh, the sterling is an outperformer um apart from the yen, to be honest, but uh, sterling is an outperformer uh, amongst the Forex majors today. Uh, there isn't a great deal of um, mon uh, economic indicators today, just the monetary policy from the Bank of Canada at 3 o'clock, no, ex no change of, of monetary policy ex is expected there, 0.5% on rates, um, but generally speaking, as I said, I think this just a shift back into safe haven plays today, um, and that is interesting. And that sort of takes me to my chart of the day, which is silver. And um, silver has been holding up. I mean, gold had a really quite a strong correction yesterday, about um, twenty-seven odd dollars of uh, of correction. And um, silver didn't really make much of a correction at all, and it's rebounded quite strongly again today. And I sort of discussed about the fact that you need to watch out for certain aspects on silver because just in case uh, it does start to follow this little minor correction on gold. Um, although the gold price has jumped again today with silver, but um, I sort of looked at this stochastics line here around 60, sort of the mid 60s really. RSI below 70 would be a sell signal, um, or profit taking signal at least. And the stochastics, as I said, falling back to sort of five, six weeks low um, in the mid 60s would also be that signal. Now, what we've seen generally is that silver basically moving into a bit of a consolidation pattern really in the past sort of couple of weeks week or so. Find us a uh, resistance below that sort of $20, $20.70 level. And support generally above um, 1960, although obviously this payroll spike was 1920. Um, 1960 seems to be the lows as well. There's a pivot line within this pivot, within this sort of consolidation band around 20 bucks. Support originally became resistance, then supportive, and is now again supportive having broken back above uh, on Monday. So um, we're seeing this um, mildly positive um, sentiment within this trading band, but he is ultimately a trading band. Look at the momentum indicators on the hourly, now sort of far more neutrally configured. MACD lines around neutral, stochastics quickly going up towards levels at which they've tended to sort of see the limit. And uh, there's a minor resistance around this sort of 20, 49, uh, sorry, 2050 area, but 20, um, 2070 is generally where the resistance starts to come in, um, and it'll be interesting to see if silver can regain the traction because it has been outperforming gold of late um, in the last uh, last few weeks, 
and uh, it seems to continue to do that. Uh, silver's up 1.4%, gold up 0.9% today. Um, so still, still, when these safe havens um, are being favoured, silver still seems to be outperforming gold, and um, that is again the case today. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what silver does in the uh, in the coming days, but. Um, Gold has already had a, an element of a correction uh, and found support and sort of started to rally again. So necessarily, um, it looks like possibly silver could hold on to the gains. And uh, I wish you good luck in your trading today. And I will speak to you later. Thank you.